space hay. Now it's me on my space hay profile. The space hay art project. What space hay means to me and why I came to it. So there were several people you know, on Facebook that were saying people should come over here. And it took me a while, like eight months. And then I saw the art project and I thought, you know, this is exactly the sort of thing that I miss about the earlier internet. Like in the days of Yahoo groups, I had a Yahoo group called Burroughs Tape Recorder and it was all like Beat Generation fans. And we would just like post art and music and writing and like comment on each other's stuff and check each other's stuff out. And with some of the other, you know, newer forms of social media that are using, you know, the targeted ads, the the algorithms which are made to target ads more accurately, it ends up not being a great experience for either the users or for artists, I, I think. And that's why I think Space Hay is a better potential avenue for artists and musicians and writers and so on to to start using. So that's why I came here and I started um, sending private messages and things to my friends. I started posting on forums saying, you know, this is why you should come to Space Hay because I, I think it's a better place for art rather than, you know, just being targeted ads that doesn't show you what your friends are posting and doesn't show you... I mean, I have fan pages and it, Facebook shows posts to like 1% or part of a percent of the people who follow the page. So like, that really sucks. Whereas, you know, with Space Hey, you post a bulletin and the people who want to follow you can actually follow that. And they go to the groups and, you know, they, they can check out what's going on with with the groups, with for specific interests and things. Which is another complaint I have, I think, about Facebook and Twitter, is that they're so vague, like, on purpose. You know, people post memes, people post angry stuff, people post political things, people... And, and meanwhile, people are trying to, like, promote their art and music and things, and that's... And it just gets lost in the shuffle of you know, people's dog pictures, which is fine, you know, people's lunch pictures, which is also fine, mm -hmm. but you you just sort of want to go to a place where you could say, okay, I, I'm going to, you know, check out a uh, Space Hay art-related group, or, you know, I made one for people with schizoid personality disorder, I made one for my podcast, the Creepy and Weird podcast, which, you know, the logo in the background there. You know, just for updates for that, I made one for SilentHillCommunity.com, for just general uh, Silent Hill-related fandom stuff. It it basically takes what was good about early parts of the internet and sort of gets rid of some of the bad stuff that has come and made the user's experience worse over the years. Basically, user experience is being sacrificed in favor of corporate profits. And yes, their their targeted ads work better, but, you know, at what cost? You know, you're not even seeing half the stuff that your friends post. And it's been shown in studies, and you, there are whole documentaries on this, you know, about how it makes people angrier. It, you know, it, it may have been Mark Zuckerberg's original intent to have people, you know, get closer together and to have a positive experience, but it has gone in a different direction and not been reined in enough. So that's why I, I would prefer to, to stay over here more and to try to bring other people over here. The groups I'm in, like Paranormal Stuff, The Gays, Artist Group, Silent Hill Community, uh, Collective Soul Fans, which is run by a friend of mine. Also, there's the idea that, that it's not stressing out the user, you know, it, that's not the experience the user wants, you know. We come to the site because we want to um, learn about things we like, we want to, you know, see art, we want to hear music, or, or read things people have written, or read their thoughts. You know, that was the good thing about LiveJournal, is it was text-based, whereas Facebook, they, it really 
encourages you to post just photos and to post more and more and more rather than posting things that are meaningful. When, when something stays on the site or is indexed, you know, such as on a forum or on a website or a blog, you put more thought into it. So rather than just every passing thought, like you might post on Facebook, rather than that, you you know, actually have to sit down and put thought into your posts because you're thinking, well, this is, maybe I'm only going to post one blog post today, right? So I should probably make it meaningful and really put some effort into it. That also translates to the people who are reading it, you know, they're going to enjoy the experience more too if everybody else is putting more thought into just one post rather than, you know, 500 posts over a day on Facebook or Twitter. Uh, various people on my Facebook had mentioned Space Hay, and that's how I, you know, made a profile, and then I didn't do anything with it for like eight months. So then I was, you know, I, I mentioned Cryptic Jasmine's videos that she tells you exactly, you know, how to, how to do the CSS stuff, because it had been so many years since I had to do that. You know, because your Facebook page looks like everybody else's Facebook page, and you can't customize it. So, I mean, sure, there were reasons for that, but it sucks. You know, it, everything is just sort of homogenized. I, I feel like there's more focus on things like people's thoughts and feelings and creativity here rather than, you know, on Facebook. It's just like, well, give me attention, give me likes. You know, uh, let me post 500 things and, you know, stay in your news feed. Whereas here, you know, it's less anxiety provoking uh, for me personally, certainly. And I appreciate that aspect because I, I do um, a lot of mental health related uh, YouTube videos and things. It's messing with a green screen, you know, the the green on the flag there. But I did paint the Space Hay logo on a pride flag just because I, I felt like, you know, wa waving something around, you know. I just feel the need for props and things and, and videos, you know, don't mind me. You know, like my Silent Hill fluoros here. I made that out of, out of resin. And um, I, I think it's also a good place, potentially, at least to promote art. You have to be the change you want to see in the world. You know, you can't just say, well, I'm going to wait till everybody else leaves Facebook or leaves Twitter, because that's never going to happen unless you do it and you put in the work, you know, to do it yourself and to, like, forcefully, well, not forcefully, but, you know, drag other people along. I mean, I'm not saying you should force, you should try to force people because you can't, but you can... You can tell people why they should come over here rather than, you know, staying on other, or just exclusively staying on other social medias, because I just feel like the, the atmosphere is better. And also I figure it's good for people on YouTube and, and such to, you know, discuss and, and show other people their videos. You know, I've been shouting out some people, you know, like my friend Alex, uh, Ladant Art, on eBay, because I, I was inspired by Solari's videos, and he was doing a, what is it, boost train, and he says he hates that word, but I, I thought it was funny, but, um, so I emailed him, but I don't, I don't expect him to actually boost my site, but... I just thought it was cool that he did that, so so I wanted to do that too, even though my channel is small, because, you know, the idea is, you know, I, just like with Space Hay or YouTube, I think the idea is really to get like-minded people together and and to show the people who are watching the videos or whatever to and, and to um, lead them to other things that they may also like you know, in order to, you know, promote things that you think don't suck. Trying to sell paintings and things. I got 
got Genesis here. I got my, my Psych TV logo tattoo there. And also, like, on Facebook, when I when I show things like... You, you know, like my meat art and things. You know, I, depictions of meat space. <laughs> um, I get horrified reactions. Because, you know, people are expecting... I don't, I don't know what they're expecting. Just flowers and things. I don't know. Self-promotion here, you know. Some f photos and things I did. For people watching this, you can email me. Uh, I'm, I'm really not that scary, and I can you know check things out and uh, help other people out hopefully, and promote others. Unless I get too many of them, but I doubt I will because you know the channel is not not that big. But you know feel feel free to email at amyballot1 at gmail dot com. But yeah, I think that's about it. Um, I just think it's a more wholesome space for people. Space hay. It's for, you know, who do we have? Oh, uh, yes. Space gay. Space gay. I think it's a more wholesome space for artists. As well as, you know, anyone else who, who wants to, you know, just have a a better experience of social media. I'm just, like, specifically trying to drag along my, you know, artists and musician friends and, and writer friends and such. Yeah, the the Space A art project, you, that just, it just uh, is evidence of how, I mean, t to me, that, that just shows that it's a better place for art and going to be a better experience for people if they'll just come over here and, and you know, if, do the work of coming over here, I guess. But I, I realize that change is hard and there's a network effect and, and such, but I mean, you don't have to delete all your other social media accounts. I know I, I made a video on Jaron Lanier's book on, you know, deleting your all your social media accounts, but he was only talking about in his book, he was only talking about the ones that have the targeted targeted ad algorithms, basically. Whereas they're just they only exist to mine your data so they can sell it to people to make lots of money. See, I got Space Hay stickers. I mean... It's simpler and a better user experience. I think that's what it comes down to. It feels more honest, also. But yeah, thanks for watching, and again, feel free to contact, and I will, you know, shout you out or whatever if if you want that. Or yeah, you know, I know some people have said there there wasn't enough space to type in the Amazon thing, so. But, you know, again, thank you all for that. And you can email also. And I, I welcome any um, feedback, comments, criticism, or suggestions, or, or what have you. But thanks for watching, and uh, later, friends. Echo was then a maid of speech bereft. Of wanted speech, for though her voice was left, Juno a curse did on her tongue impose, to sport with every sentence in the close. This lovesick virgin overjoyed to find the boy alone still followed him behind. When glowing warmly at her near approach, as sulphur blazes at the taper's touch, she longed her hidden passion to reveal, and tell her pains but had not words to tell. She can't begin but waits for the rebound, to catch his voice and to return the sound. A shallow water hinders my embrace, and yet the lovely mimic wears a face that kindly smiles, and when I bend to join my lips to his, he fondly bends to mine.